Once a father bought a phonograph record for his children. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, give them to your sons. And if you have none of these little elves, then you may eat them all yourself. The children loved their new record so much that they played it and played it and played it. Then, early the next morning, And again. And again, and again, and again, until the father cried, I can't stand it! And he ran out of the house without his breakfast. Whew. Peace at last. No more hot cross buns. On his way to work, the father passed a corner where a new building was being built. foreman of the builders asked, What's the matter? Matter? Why must you bang and hammer hot cross buns? Why can't you bang and hammer a waltz instead? A waltz? Say, that's a good idea. Like this? What's the matter now? It's still hot cross buns. And the father got away from that corner as fast as he could. He walked past the boats in the harbor. Ah, peace at last. No more hot cross buns. Then the boats began to move. The men on the pier asked, What's the matter? Matter? Why must you blow hot cross buns? Why can't you blow a march instead? A march? Splendid idea. You mean like this? It's still hot cross buns. And the father walked from the harbor as fast as he could. When the father got to his office, he sat down behind his desk. Mmm, peace at last. No hot cross buns here. Now that typewriter sounds fine. It's sensible. Oh, it's soothing. It's, it's... 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 It's hot cross buns! And the father cried... Stop! Stop! The woman who was typing looked at him. What's the matter? Matter? Why must you type hot cross buns? Why can't you type a jig instead? A jig? Excellent idea. Like this? <laughs> Positively no. It's still hot cross buns. Oh, how can I work? I'm going to lunch. And the father put on his hat and went down in the elevator and into a restaurant. He sat down at a table. Oh, peace at last. No more hot cross buns. And because he had left the house without eating his breakfast, he was so hungry that he began to eat the little rolls on the table. Then the waitress came over to take his order. What will you have for lunch today, sir? Well, let's see. I'm very hungry. 
I'll start with vegetable soup and... and... What are you humming? I... Don't tell me I know. Why must you hum hot cross buns? Why can't you hum a tango? A tango? Wonderful idea. Like this? Don't you like hot cross buns? I can't stand hot cross buns. <laughs> That's funny. You just ate a whole plateful. The father looked at the little roll he was eating, and sure enough, it was a hot cross bun. <laughs> And after that, the father grew to like hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, give them to your sons. And if you have none of these little elves, then you may eat them all yourself. 